Tristan Johnson. He promises he's going to be better than he was the first time, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to try to be a little bit better here this time, try to be a little louder. So Norwich is wearing their home gold. Colby Sawyer in their road blue. The, the tip is controlled by Norwich. So now Jalen Oliveira, who was the big story in the last game, he had 22 points against Emmanuel to help Norwich hand Emmanuel their first loss of the year in conference. They immediately get the ball down inside against Emmanuel, and that was a huge game in their last timeout. They, against Emmanuel, Norwich doubled up their opponent, 44 to 22 for points in the paint. When Norwich has been successful, they've been very productive in the paint. So they come out right away, get the ball down inside, and are successful. Then they defend well on the short jumper there and come away with the rebound. Another big story for Norwich here tonight. Uh, Owen Liss is out with an injury, and he is a big, big, big-time player for the Cadets, and filling his spot will be... So JoJo De Bruyne is in his spot, and one of the things that kind of hurts Norwich a little bit there is JoJo's been great offense off the bench. He's one of the double-figure scorers that they have. And so now you take him from being on the bench to him being a starter. And so now you need those bench points to come from someplace else. Norwich has the ball up top. Dribble hand off to Colby, who steps back for the three. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Colby Sawyer. Now they'll come the other way. There's the pick out top. Ball's just handed off. A drive on the baseline. That's going to be a call against JoJo. So now Colby Sawyer will inbound from directly in front of their bench. They inbound it up top, get it to the very top of the key. Begin to work the other way. Here's a drive, cut off, drop step back in the middle. That shot was blocked. Second attempt, no good. Tip, no good. JoJo with the rebound. He gets it off to Nende, who's aggressive on the right side. Good bounce pass to Donovan Luce. No good. Donovan follows, goes right back up with it with the right hand. Off the glass and good. Norwich with an early 6-2 lead. With under 18 minutes to go here in the first half. There's the long three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Jalen. He gives it off to Colby. He's going to drive to his right. Cut off, but takes the fadeaway, th the fadeaway jumper there. No good. Don't be shocked when you see three-point attempts in this game. Colby Sawyer is averaging nine made threes per game. They shoot 33.8% from behind New York, but they have some folks that will put it up early and often. That's going to be one of the big keys of the game, is can Norwich control the three-point line a little bit or offset what Colby Sawyer does while still being able to get their points in the paint. Ninde with it up top, crossover to his right. That shot was long, rebounded by the, the Chargers, and they come the opposite way. That initial drive was cut off. Here's the secondary drive. So that foul was called against, against Donovan Lewis. These teams are very even. They're averaging almost exactly the same number of points per game. The big thing is how they get their points and where they get them from. Ball's back down inside to Donovan Lewis. He goes up with a right-handed hook. No good. The Chargers come away with it. There's a deep three. And it's good. That's Terrence Harvey, the 5'11 guard. He's their team leader and assist. Now he only averages seven points a game. So he's not a big time scorer for them. Ninde with the drive, floats it with the right hand and gets fouled. 
He's going to go to the line. So that foul goes against Connor Kelly, their six foot six post player, who actually leads them with six point seven rebounds per game. The Chargers are not a very long team. They don't have tremendous length. They've got some good length in spots. But if they start to get in trouble with with post players, that could be a tough day. So Nende hits the first, looking to take the second to tie the game. Off the back of the rim, no good, but he's saved before it goes out of bounds by the Chargers. They hit a, a cutter. That ball was swatted away by Colby, who actually leads the team in steals, so he has very active hands. We know that. Now the cadets look to work the ball around the edge. Now they'll pull it back out and reset the offense. Jalen gets it off to JoJo. Who fades away for the three. That's no good. Rebounded by the Chargers. JoJo, one of those people on Norris's team, not afraid to take threes. Every time he gets an open look, look for him to take the shot. So off the drive, the ball is rotated to the baseline. And Scott Lampern comes away with that. He's a 39% three-point shooter. He's second on the team with 90 attempts, so he's going to shoot that thing often. Like you stated earlier, too, JoJo, yeah, usually a bench player, he's averaging 12 and a half points coming off the bench here. It'd be interesting to see who the cadets have as their as their boost off the bench for today's game. So right there, the Chargers missed a three. Great job on the box out. Here's the drive to the right hand. Comes off the the backboard, no good. So another look to a cutter right there and good defense. Ninde off the give from JoJo. Thought he had a right-handed layup. A little contact on the body, but the shot was long. You see the game just a little chaotic, I think, on both sides right now. Missing some, some easier looks as they try to get into the flow of the game. So with 15 seconds to go on the shot clock, here's a drive, cut off, ball's back down into the corner. There's another three-pointer, no good. Graves had the rebound, gives it up to Colby on the right side. He gives it off to Ninde, who brings it across midcourt. JoJo has the ball in the middle of the Dribble handoff. Jalen starts to drop step. Now gets it back out to Ninde, who rotates to JoJo. Thinks about the three. Everybody runs away from him, goes in with the left-handed layup, and it rolls off. Said both sides right now are just missing on some uncharacteristic shots. Expect them to settle down as the game goes on. Here's a drive, and it's good. So now, Ninde has the ball on the right side. There's the backdoor cut, defended. Jalen has it. He's going to take the three. Off the back of the rim, no good. And the Chargers come out two on two. They try to push the issue. Get it back to the trailer, looking for the three. Well defended. But the long rebound goes to the Chargers. They kick it to the opposite corner. Into the mid post. There's a crosser series. Again, off the back of the rim. Fight for the rebound. Let's see what the call is here, ladies and gentlemen. So coming out of the timeout, we're just under 13 minutes to go in a 7 to 13 game. Ball's inbounded. Joe Doe defending. There's a drop step to the baseline. Double team help. And the ball is stolen. Good steal nope. there by Chris with the active hands. Good offensive word. Ball is finally kicked down into the corner. Doolin has that three come off the back of the rim. Good but hustle. chases it down. Great job, Jalen, even without the ball being in his hands, directing traffic right there and says, hey, let's slow it down. 
after a little chaotic exchange. Tough three there by Chris. So now we're getting the man-to-man look from standard man-to-man from Norwich. We get the high pick. Absolutely good call there by the official as Jalen catches one in the jaw. And like we said from last game, Jalen coming off a really big game. Look, look good to see if we could, if we could see if Norris could uh, get Jalen going here in this uh, first, first first half. So now Jalen gets the ball to his left side, back over to JoJo, who's going to drive to his right. Ball swatted around. And the kick is going to keep the ball here with Norwich as it was kicked by one of the Chargers. Jalen the inbound the ball. Ball's popped out top. Chris has it. He'll initiate the offense. Now we get into a weave. There's a little handoff to Dueling. Gives it back to JoJo, who will take the deep three. Comes off the side of the rim. Jalen goes to chase it down. And that ball was knocked off of Jalen. And that, that shot right there, is, that's a great example of what I was saying earlier. JoJo doesn't need much space. If you get 15 points a game, number 24, Kevin Cumming, is averaging 12 and change. And then number one, Scott Lampern, is averaging just, just over 12 as well. Norwich counters with four different players that average in double figures, ranging anywhere from 10 and change to just over 13. Norwich is used to having very balanced scoring. So now they Norwich is on defense. As we close in on 11 minutes to go here in the first half. There's a quick crossover on Inday, but he can place defense. That shot is blocked. Great save. Gets tipped around. Dueling comes away with it. We got a three-on-three -three fast break, and we're going to pull the ball back out. Dueling will take the three off the, the give from Inday, and that takes us 10 to 13. Great shot by Tommy there. He's a really good 3 and D player for Norwich, and a really good spark off the bench for them. There's that scoop, backhanded layup with the right that goes in. That takes us to a five-point game right now. The Chargers have the advantage. Donovan has the ball out top. Well defended off the pass. And now Norwich will look to get the ball down in the post. Donovan has it extended, kicks it to the opposite side. Driving a baseline, drop step, spin. Oh, I thought we were going to have a highlight follow right there by Chris. The ball just hung in the air a little bit long, but he was looking to send that one home. If you give Chris that type of jumping room, too, he is one of those players that is able to get up there and make a big-time highlight play. Very athletic kid. So there's a three by Zach Carabello. He averages 43% from behind the arc. And the goaltending call there on Tommy's layup. So now Norwich will show some pressure initially and then back off once the ball is inbounded. The Chargers playing with a six-point lead have the ball. They get it underneath. That's cut off. Kicked back outside. Here's the jumper at the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by Chris. Who gets Great rebound by Chris. Who got up for that rebound. And Chris now he's feeling good. But close and misses. Oh, that would have been a great finish. Great defense right there by Nende on the other side. And the one-on-one -on -one is able to get the held ball. The possession arrow will keep the ball with the Chargers. And they have 26 seconds on the shot clock. They inbound. Quick pop shot. No good. And Norwich comes away with the rebound. Rebound is going to be a huge key in this game. Typically, the Chargers are minus seven. So they have struggled on the glass. Good cut by Tom. Gives it back off to Chris. 
Left-handed shot was blocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Norwich with 13 seconds to go on the shot clock. More often than not, too, Norwich looks to get the ball down in the post to Donovan Lewis. And right now, Colby Sawyer is doing a great job of cutting the pass off because they keep looking for him down there, but they haven't been able to get the pass to him yet. Speaking of Colby, he gets the ball in the inbound, rotates it over to Chris, and the ball does get down to Donovan on cue. Left-handed layup rolls off the rim, no good. Rebounded, a strong rebound right there by Omar Boone. And we're now going to get a travel. So one of the things that never shows up, Tristan, in the stat sheet, the little added help right there by Colby just caused Omar Boone to be a little concerned and creates the travel. Yes, and Norris has a lot of those players on the team. Players like Colby and players like Nadu, whose stats aren't aren't crazy off the charts or anything, but these are players that are averaging 30 minutes a game, giving us quality minutes on the defensive end and offensive end. So that ball was tipped away as they tried to get it to the inbound. Donovan, given the pick for Nende, now goes back to the mid post. Nende drives, kicks it to the corner for the three. It's up. No good, but Chris with a phenomenal rebound. Gets it back to Donovan Lewis on a cut, who's able to finish even though he got hit in the mouth. Great offensive rebound there by Chris, and way to find Donovan there on the cut. And I, I agree with you on that. He did look like he got hit in the mouth there. It looked like that should have been an and one call. You can see him checking his lip as he went back down the other end of the floor. Great extended defense right here by Norwich. You get the deep three, which is no good. Easily rebounded by the Cadets. Cadets are the only people inside the three-point line there. Colby has the ball. Now he gives it off to Nende. And as this is our second game of our doubleheader here tonight, these refs are looking like they're willing to let let the guys play a little more than we did last game. A lot of less, lot, lot of let, less foul calls in this game. There's the high pick. Ball's kicked to the opposite side. Boone will take it. Comes off. And there's Chris there on another board. You see Chris coming down, fighting for every single reboard. I really like Norts to see if we can get Donovan going here in the paint. He's one of our best players and hard for opponents to stop in the paint. So here we get some scissors action. There's a double on Jalen, who's directing traffic. He wants to try and get the ball in the post. Donovan fighting for position. The ball's down into the baseline. Tough right-handed kiss off the glass right there. Comes away with the two points to bring it to a two-point game. And look at that, Donovan right on cue. They feed it to him in the post, and he finds a way to beat the double team to get the layup. Norwich extending their defense a little bit. Ninde really hounding Kevin coming. Just trying to make sure he can't even get a shot out there. Boone rises up over JoJo, takes the shot, but that comes off the rim, and the cadets get the rebound, and now they're down on the other end. Looking so, to get the ball down to the post again. Donovan's got it on the extended block. Backs in, goes to his the baseline. Right hand off the glass, good again. And now we're tied 18-18. to 18. And like Tristan, I was you gotta saying, love it when you, you call for a play and you've got it. And yeah, like I was saying, Donovan right on cue once again. They're trying to get him going. Donovan's always in mismatch just because of how strong he is in the paint. It's harder for others to guard him in the paint just because of truly how strong he is. Jalen on the drive, kisses it off the glass, and good. Jalen with an aggressive drive and nice left-hand floater off the glass there. Said Norwich quietly extending their defense right here. Getting out to the three-point shooters more and more, running them off the spots, forcing Colby Sawyer to get in second and third options offensively. The example right there, great defense by Donovan, understanding he's playing against a player that's primarily a defensive player, primarily a rebounder, and so doesn't want to draw any foul. Jalen drives, kicks it back out to JoJo, who's at the top, gets it out to Colby. Colby looks down inside, gets the ball to Donovan, tipped away initially. Right-handed layup is no good. Almost a steal by Jalen. Coach Booth there looking for a call down there, and Donovan looked like he was getting pushed in the back there on that layup attempt. Unfortunately, while he was looking around for a call, 
his man got down the floor. So that pass goes awry and will be a turnover. The ball is going to go over to the Chargers as we get some mass substitutions going on right now. I don't blame the official at all as he counts to make sure we have five on five because there was a number of bodies coming in. So now the ball's at the top of the key. Spun back around to the left side. Out on the wing. Colby playing defense there. Dribble handoff. Give and go. And that layup is good. Ninde has the ball. Drives past midcourt. Steps back. Gives it to JoJo. Scissors action up top. Jalen has the ball in his hands now. He backs out to establish the offense. Crosses over. Here's the drive on the baseline. Kicks back out to Colby, who steps past the first defender. Is fouled as he rises up for the jump shot. The jump shot is no good, but Colby will go to the line for two with the opportunity to tie the game with 4 one to go here in the first half. Colby, who is not a, not a bad free throw shooter, averaging 70% for the season, going to the line here. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw is good as well, and that ties the game at 22. So far, very defensive game here from both teams, allowing, causing a lot of missed shots here. Really low-scoring game here so far in this first half. So that foul... Norwich will be inbounding. We get full court pressure here by Colby Sawyer. That ball is inbounded to Ninde. He goes behind the back, crosses over, and calmly brings it across half court. He's out of the logo, and we're going to get a reach-in foul. So Kadir Arka with that call, with that foul. That's his first of the, the game. That's the sixth against Colby Sawyer. Immediately inbounded. Give and go behind the back. Great pass there from Navi. I've got to I've got to be honest here. I've never seen a player go over the top of an offensive player and hit him in the back of the head with a knee. Like, that's an automatic call, normally. Yeah, I was a little surprised there by the no call, too. I Wait until the second was. one. Uh, honestly, I think everybody on both sides was a little shocked. But that does put JoJo to the line, who is the best free throw shooter Norwich has. So he makes that first one to, to give Norwich a one-point lead. The second is up as well, and Norwich is up by two now. So Norwich backs off to play half-court defense. Colby Sawyer starts to get into their offense. Here's a drive. Kicked back outside. Thought he was going to have a cutter there, but it wasn't. So now 10 seconds. Boone drives. Drop steps to his left. No good. Rebounded by by JoJo, and Norwich has numbers. Here's the drive. Right-handed layup comes off. But that's going to send Nick Graves to the line. Shooting two. First free throw is off the back of the rim and no good. Nick's got one more coming. Second shot is up. Is also no good. So now the Chargers have the ball. 
Here's a drive on the baseline. Right-handed layup is good. Ball's immediately inbounded to Nende. Get the ball up the floor quickly to Graves, who goes with the Euro step. That comes off the back of the rim. And in a tie game with just roughly two and a half minutes to go. A good look inside. And the Chargers are able to get a, a layup. So now the Chargers have the lead, 26 to 24. Nende with the ball out at the logo, crosses over, goes to his left. Here's the drive. Surprise. A lot of no contact, foul nothing call called. Looked, looked like a lot of contact there on the drive. Surprise, there's no foul call there. So the ball comes up the right side. Colby playing defense from there. Here's the drive. Jalen goes to help, and there's a charge. So even though the pass was released, he finished into the defender, the defender the defender being Jalen, who was sitting there waiting on it the entire time. So with 2.02, we have a two-point game. The Chargers are up by two. Kobe Soros coach here really upset with the calls that are happening right now. So even though that was the ninth foul, because it was a player control foul, you don't shoot free throws on that. So Jalen gets past his man, drives all the way. JoJo has it inside and finishes at the rim. The game is tied again with less than two minutes to go here in the first half. Good backdoor cut, but can't complete the pass. The ball is stolen by the cadets, and they come down with numbers. Colby has it. Now he slows it down. Gets it back out to, to Jalen. Jalen looks to drive to his right. A lot of contact. No call whatsoever. The game continues to be tied. Here's a deep three, and it's good. Said Terrence Harvey's hit two of those from the exact same spot. And that gives Colby Sawyer a three-point lead. There's a steal. There's a subsequent foul right after the steal. And that foul will be on Jalen. That's his first of the game. The fourth against Norwich. So with 106 to go here in the first half, Kobe Sawyer's up by three, and they have the ball. There's a drive. Which ball's double teamed. But we're going to get a foul call against Colby. He felt like he had a, a clean play there. The officials felt differently. That's his second foul. And we'll immediately bring Tom Dooling into the game. Chris Huff will come in as well for Jalen. Playing a little offense-defense substitution here by Coach Booth in the last minute of the first half. Ball's inbounded. Out of the logo. To the right side. Then Day playing defense. Dribble handoff, skipped out to the opposite side, driving the baseline. Reverse layup is good. Now it's a five-point game. The cadets have the ball, and they're going to come up to the right side. The high pick by JoJo, rotated to Chris. He thinks about the three, but changes his mind. Ball's out to Ninde. Eventually, it's up top to, to JoJo. Good look inside by JoJo. First shot was missed. Immediately a rebound and put back. Takes us to a three-point game with roughly 10 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a drive to the right on the baseline. Collapsed. Ball is tipped. Goes out of bounds and will stay here with 2.8 seconds to go. In a three-point game, we'll get a timeout. We'll be back after that timeout. So that horn means we're coming out of the timeout. There's 2.8 seconds to go here in a three-point game. Colby Sawyer with the lead and the ball inbounding underneath their own offensive goal. That ball is stripped nicely. 
and that heave will be no good. So we'll go to halftime with our score 31 to 28. Right there officially ends the first half. We get ready to start the second. The Chargers will begin with the ball. Going from right to left on your, your computer screen. They get the ball up top. Look for the backdoor cut, and then Day takes that away. A secondary back cut taken away by JoJo as well. There's the dribble handoff at the top. Ball is swiped at by Jalen off of the Chargers. And we have our first turnover of the second half. That ball's inbounded to Nende. So we have a stoppage of play right there. The shot clock did not start on time, so the officials stopped to get that set up. It'll be 28 seconds on the shot clock. Eight seconds to get the ball past midcourt. Right now, Donovan Lewis Jr., only player in the game in double digits with 10. you got to love the true point guard in Jalen. As time's running down, he just sneaks a peek at the clock, no panic whatsoever, to make sure he gets it past midcourt. Jalen directing traffic, trying to get the ball down into Donovan with eight to go on the clock. He kicks it to Nende, rotates it to Colby, who's got it with under five. There's the right-handed floater, no good. Tipped around, JoJo has it. Steps back to the rim and lays it in. That takes us to a one-point game, 30 to 31. Great offensive move there by Jojo with the drop step deep in the paint. Ninde with good tight defense, just not giving any airspace whatsoever to Kevin Cummings. Crossover by Cummings, kicks it back outside to Boone who pulls up for the jumper. That's off the front of the rim, tipped by Jalen. Fought for but eventually controlled by the Chargers. Drive on the baseline. They dribble off their own foot, and here comes the cadets. Colby tries to split the defense ball. is tipped. He tips it last, unfortunately, and it goes over. That was a good aggressive drive after the steal right there by Colby, trying to get to the rim. So the cadets show a little full court pressure. Now they're going to back off and play half-court defense. There's the pick with a flare screen. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending who you're rooting for, Terrence Harvey was unable to control that. Ball goes off his knee, goes out of bounds, and the cadets will now have the ball in a one-point game with 18-15 to go here in the second half. Jalen gets the ball, squares up, and now calmly brings the ball up the floor. Donovan working hard, way out away from the rim. The ball gets down to the low post. Spin, drop step, right hand layup is good by JoJo. The Chargers were so concerned right there about what Donovan Lewis was going to do. They allowed JoJo to have an easy setup down on the, on the baseline. Great rotation defensively right there. Jalen comes away with the steal. It's a 2-1-2. Two, two. He drives, scoops with the left hand, and it's good. No, which is now up 34 to 31. Great acrobatic layup there by Jalen to go around the defender to make that left-handed layup. Minde continues to play in the incoming chest, not giving him any space. There's the backdoor cut. Jalen takes it away initially. Smart on his part. He ended up in a bad defensive position and didn't want to force the issue. So now there's a three-on-three three with space. Donovan has the ball. Out at the mid post. Kicks it to JoJo on the opposite 45. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Terrence Harvey. He gets the ball up. A quick left-handed three is good from Scott Lampert. Said he's a 39% shooter from behind the arc. He is not afraid, ladies and gentlemen. So now Donovan has it all the way up top. Spins back to the middle, spins back to the baseline. A lot of contact, but goes with the right hand through contact. Lays it in, and we tie it up again. And after Donovan's great first half, he's 
right back to it in the second half, getting into the paint, dominating in there, showing off his strength. He looks like he's playing with a lot of confidence right now, Tristan. Yes, yes, he does. So Terrence Harvey looking for his third three-pointer of the game, could not find the range. Aggressive drive by JoJo, but it rolls off the front of the rim. He immediately steals it back, regained by Terrence Harvey, and the Chargers are now coming down the floor. There's a pick out top, bounce pass to inside, and good. And then Day crosses over Boone and gets the ball past midcourt. He gets a high pick from Jalen, who rolls down to the, the post, has the ball against Boone. Here comes the double team. Jalen takes his time, gives it to Colby for the reverse layup, and it's good. This is a great back and forth game right now. Great back and forth game. As we close in on 15 minutes to go, the Chargers bring the ball. They get it up to Connor, extended. Boone has it. He looks for the backdoor cut. It's not there. There's the double team. Ball's on the floor. Donovan was looking for somebody to run out. Unfortunately, was not there. That three-pointer by Boone is good. That awkward transition right there. We thought we were going to have a run out, and instead it turns into a three-pointer. That pass is deflected. Here's the drive. Loses possession in the air. And then Day is fouled by Boone. Nothing malicious or anything like that. Just two guys going for the ball. But that is going to take us. And with that last basket by Colby there, sometimes all shooters need is to see a basket go in to get them going. So hopefully that can get Colby going here as he's had a slow start to this game. He could be critical as the game goes on. So, yes, I agree with you 100%. Yes, he definitely could as he's one of our top scorers here on this team. So now Colby playing the point, brings the ball past midcourt. Gets it to Donovan, extended, drop steps in the middle, hard drive with the left hand, and it just rolls out. They are really extending the defense on Donovan Lewis, and I'm not sure why. He's Yes, he is 3 of 4 on the year from three-point range, but I would think you would rather him take that than giving him a layup opportunity. Yes, Donovan does not take a lot of, a lot of three balls, though. I think just letting him shoot the three ball would be fine. I'd rather, I'd much rather live with him taking the shot than having him kill us in the paint. So Donovan makes his first. That takes us to 39 to 41. His second one is off the back of the rim, chased down by the Chargers. And now they come back the other way on offense. Still looking to get Cummings involved, but Nende is just glued to him. Boone has it out up top. Again, looking for a backdoor cut. That defended well by JoJo. So now there's the handoff. Double team, right-handed layup is up. So as Donovan was out of bounds, he stepped in to, to catch that rebound. Unfortunately, he had not reestablished position, so that counts as a turnover. 20 seconds to go now in the shot clock. The ball's inbounded immediately. Dueling playing defense there. And that foul is going to go against Dueling. Again, that resets the shot clock to 20. And the Chargers will inbound. That pass goes right, and then Day ends up with it. He's got a three-on-two fast break. The JoJo, Euro steps to the left, and that's blocked out of bounds. Norwich will keep possession with 26 seconds to go here on the shot clock. Then Day to trigger the inbounds. Gets it to Colby. On the baseline. Floater with the right hand is deflected. Corralled by the Chargers. And now they're on the offensive end. There's a strong right-handed layup. is good by Terrence Harvey. Dueling Terrence has Harvey. Gets across midcourt. Quickly to Jalen. Drop step. That ball rolls off the rim. No good. Terrence Harvey continuing to build off his strong first half. 
Boone with a good jumper right there. And there's Boone's second made shot of the half, looking to get him going in the second half. So that is going to be simply a radio. We are radio and television. So we have a one-point game with 11 minutes and 40 seconds to go. The Chargers are inbounding, and we get full-court pressure by Norwich as they look to bracket Taron Tarvey to keep the ball out of his hands. Chris has the steal on the other side, but he steps out of bounds with it. Great effort on his part. So here we prepare for the inbound again. The ball's worked all the way across. Now Terrence Harvey has it in his hand, and Norwich will back off and play half-court defense. The ball's on the right wing. Up top to Boone. He works from corner to corner on the free throw line. Hands it off. Jalen plays defense there. That's cut off. Ball's in the opposite corner. Doubled. Now it's up to Wash. That three-point shot is no good. Tipped around. The Chargers are able to keep possession. They had an open man underneath. Terrence Harvey was just hanging out down there, but they were unable to see him. So now Cummings has the ball. He picks up his dribble, gets it back. Here's the drive with the right hand. He makes the layup with five seconds left on the shot clock. Really good drive and finish there. Way to finish through contact. So Norwich calmly brings the ball up the floor, and they set up their offense. Jalen has it on the far side of the floor, looks down underneath doesn't like the low post look. Here's a drive by Chris on the baseline. Kicks it. Sorry, tries to kick it to the, the opposite corner, and that gets deflected. So that stoppage of play will bring in Ninde, and he will replace Olivero. Norwich is in a box set as they prepare to inbound with 11 seconds to go on the shot clock. Surprisingly enough, you haven't seen... Colby in a while. I wonder if that has anything to do with his low scoring numbers tonight. Dueling gets it back out top. JoJo looks to drive. That's cut off. He flares it to, the, to Chris in the opposite corner. Three, two, one. Good hard drive right there, but did not catch any rim. And that will be a shot clock violation. The other thing I wondered about Colby is, is Coach Boots saving him for the end run trying to buy him some rest right now as this game stays tight. And that, that very much well could be his plan here with the whole 10 minutes left. That's plenty of time for Colby to get back in and make a difference here in this game, which we'll probably need him here in the stretch with it being as close as it is. Here's a drive on the baseline oh! by Cummings, who went for the block, or excuse me, went for the dunk and could not convert. He drove with, it, with intent. Oh, man. That was almost bad for a Norwich player. And Donovan. just like that, Norwich calmly gets the ball down inside. And Donovan quiets the crowd a little bit with that little hook shot there. So here's the three by Colby Sawyer. It's off the rim, rebounded by Chris. He'll bring the ball up in the middle of the floor. Eyes up, starts to drive, gets it in the corner for dueling with a left-handed shot. No good. Good, strong rebound. Bodies hit the floor. Quick give and go. Donovan ends up with it, and he dunks it. The coach is from Colby Sawyer, and imploring his team to go faster to try and take away some of the emotion from Norwich. And that dunk right there by Donovan came from straight effort from everyone on the team right there to hustle for the ball and find the pass into Donovan in the paint for the slam. So Colby Sawyer regains the lead right there as Cummings gets a layup. So the officials are going to get to get, get together to confer real quick and have sent the two teams to the bench. So we have a common foul. No, you know, nothing. No clear pass foul. Correct. That doesn't exist in 
in college. So. Oh, wow. Actually, I did not know that. I just learned something. <laughs> it's, there's an oddity. Like, why wouldn't you have the same rules at all level? But it's the same thing in a lot of sports where college and NFL tend to be different. Correct. I guess it's difference when you're making money and when you're not. Very true. Very true. So here, the Chargers have a one-point lead, and they have the ball. Here's the drive. Look for the cut. That's tipped off of Cummings, and will go the other way. Great defense right now by Ninde. He's absolutely staying with Cummings every place. And let me tell you, Cummings has great effort moving around the floor. He's not a standstill guy by any stretch. I think Cummings is just looking, looking to try – Get get going here. They only had three points in the first half. He's just trying to get something going, get his team going here. So now that stoppage of play brought Colby Murray back in the game. JoJo works to his left, hands it off to Colby. Surveys. Gets it to Tin and Day. A lot of contact there. No foul call there on the block, though. Which I, I think was probably a good call. It looked like Donovan was starting to lose his feet as he made that catch. Great effort right there by Terrence Harvey trying to trying to get the steal and then trying to corral it, but he stepped out of bounds. So, so coming out of the timeout, the Cadets will have the ball inbounding underneath their own defensive end. We see full court pressure. Ball's inbounded to Colby. He brings the ball up the far side. And now we'll set up the offense from there. An attempted steal by Colby. No good. Donovan has it. Gets it out to Ninde. Looks to drive. That's taken away initially. He steps inside. Gets it to Colby. Drives the baseline. Floats it with the right hand. And it's good. Really good floater there by Colby. So Off with, balance floater. With seven and a half to go. We're back to a one-point game. Kobe Sawyer's been looking for the backdoor cut all day long, and for the most part, Norwich has done a great job of taking it away. Here's the short jumper by Boone. No good. A soaring rebound. Gets the ball tipped out. The three-pointer is up and good. So now that pushes it to a 54-50 to lead for the Chargers. There's the high pick by Donovan. He rolls back to the low post. Strong drive with the right hand, but no good. And off the pass, it's immediately stolen by Colby, who's the team leader in steals, and he gets the layup. Brings us back to a two-point game as we close in on six and a half minutes to go here in regulation. There's a collision there with Tom Doolin. And Terrence Harvey. So right now, there's three fouls apiece on each team. With closing in on six and a half minutes to go. Boone has the ball up top in a little exchange with him and Cummings. Cummings looks to set up on the post. That ball was stolen by Kobe. He's got the breakaway going for the layup. Right-handed, and it's good. And that right ties on, the game. And right on cue, Colby's coming into the game, making a big difference right now. Two steals and two buckets in a row to tie the game. So now Boone has it. The ball get passed around the, the perimeter. Boone looks to post up Donovan. Faces up, skips it all the way to the opposite side. There's a standstill three that rims in and out. Rebound by Cummings. So... That ball was rebounded by Cummings. The shot was blocked. He looked around for a call. Dueling chases it down, throws the ball off Cummings, and the cadets have possession. Ball's inbounded to Donovan Lewis Jr. He gives it back to Ninde. And now in a 54-54 game, the cadets have the ball. An attempted steal is no good. Kobe goes for the three. And he hits it with some emotion after that made shot. Seven-point run by Colby himself right on cue. He comes in and makes an impact on this game. So the ball was out on the perimeter. Here's the sh 
The quick drive, that's taken away. Ball's kicked out to Terrence. He's got it. Gets it to Boone on the corner. The drive to the right. Thought that was a travel. No good. Donovan Lewis chases down the missed shot. Ball gets back in Day's hands. Coach Booth makes his call and says, hey, let's play with a little patience right now. Let's be smart. So now Day has it on the right side. Gets it down to the low block. Kicked to Colby to the opposite corner. Oh, the bench was about ready to explode if he had made that one. So now, with a three-point lead, the cadets will play defense. I think that last shot might have just been a heat check for Colby there. If you, if you have a seven-point personal run, I give you permission to take that shot. I think everyone does. Great job right there of Cummings, just not giving up on a play. He battles around, finds the, the loose ball, and is able to put it back in. Smart play by the cadets. No reason to compound the issue at all and, and foul. So now, Donovan Lewis has it out at the wing. Gets it up to JoJo. Looks to drive. He's going to drive to his right. Gives it back to Donovan Lewis. That is stolen. We have a three-on-one fast break. That layup is good, and it... It gives the visitors a one-point lead with under four minutes to go here in the fourth. I'm sorry I said fourth in the second half. There's a pass to JoJo on the backdoor cut. Lays it up with the right hand. No good. The Chargers come away with it. They have the ball on the far side. They'll get it to Boone on the wing. He's looking at Cummings in the post. Cummings now gets out to the three-point line. Boone goes in for the fadeaway, which is no good. Rebounded by Colby. Well defended right there by Donovan Lewis. We have a one-point game as we close in on three minutes to go. Ninde with a three. And it's good. Big three from the day there. Someone who doesn't take a lot of threes a game knocks it down for us to give us the lead. So the cadets regain the lead. Ball's back tapped. Terrence Harvey's able to chase it down. Ninday staying, trying to stay connected with Cummings. Cummings pulls up for the three. Partially deflected. And then Day chases down the rebound. Elevates over a charger to come down the other way. The cadets almost had a great play right there. Ball got tipped at the last second. Harvey skips it all the way across. Here's a standstill three, and that's good. So that will put Colby Sawyer up by one. As we close in on two, two minutes here left in the game. So Norwich sets up their offense. High pick and roll here. Drive, kick to the corner. Kobe's going to drive to the middle. A lot of contact, lays it up with the right, no call. And the Chargers come away with the rebound. So here's two picks were set out, out in the backcourt, but Kobe gets around them. Terrence Harvey has the ball. He gets another pick from Boone. The ball comes back to Boone. Drive, a lot of contact, no call. The officials are letting both sides play right now. We have a three-point game with a minute and a half to go. The cadets call their offense, and they sets it up at the. So you have a steal and a dunk by Cummings to make it a five-point game. So we come back with a minute and 13 to go here in, in regulation. A five-point game. Jalen Olivero is checked back in the game. He has the ball in his hands and gets the ball down the floor. As you can imagine, the Chargers are, are defending the three-point line right now, playing a little bit of a, an amoeba defensive zone. The ball's in the corner. Jalen will take the three off the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Chargers with under a minute to go. 
Colby playing defense on Terrence Harvey, who gives it up to Boone. Boone gives it off, and now the ball is in the middle of the floor. There's a switch there defensively. Bad matchup for the cadets as they try to get out of it. Drive on the baseline. Quick give. That layup is no good. Rebounded by Boone. He puts it back. Can that, I'm sorry, cannot put it back. Minde has it with 20 seconds to go. Minde kicks it to Colby for the three. That is no good. Chase down, tipped, and will stay with the cadets with 10.6 seconds in a five-point game. JoJo with a quick three off the inbound, off the front of the rim, no good. Boone with the rebound. The foul is immediately given by Jalen to try and extend the game here a little bit. That inbounds with miscommunication right there between two different two different chargers, and there's a turnover with no time off the clock. So 6.2 seconds to go, still a five-point game. Norwich inbounding and underneath their own basket. There's the three off the front of the rim, no good. Held ball. So with 1.2 seconds, the ball will stay with Norwich, and they will inbound again underneath their own goal. Colby gets it with a quick three. He makes that. So our final score is 65-63. to 63.